guys welcome back to my channel and today I'm going to show you how to create virtual class library using Bitmoji and Google slide so you can create small libraries like this and you can make your learners read any book that you want them to read so in my previous video I have already told you how to create a Bitmoji and so you can check it out and learn from there so let's get started and create a virtual class library so the first thing that you need to do is go to google.com and you need to click on these nine dots and go to slides. Open a new slide, click on the blank document, start a new presentation and you can choose from this new, new slide option and a new slide with layout option. So I'm choosing the layout, so I'm choosing a blank document so now so this is a blank document that i'm going to work in and now to create a virtual class library environment i need a background first so let's click on change background and let's choose an image so if you already have an image in your computer so you can choose upload or you can go to google image search so you can type in wall and floor background so I'm going to go with this, this one. So I'll click on it and click on insert and done. So it's always better to choose a background instead of inserting an image because your learners cannot move it now. So now the next step is to insert some furniture. You can go to insert image and search the web for transparent transparent bookshelf so you can choose any one that you like you can choose this one or this one but I think I do not like anyone so I'm going to go to Google again and choose a transparent bookshelf so I've written transparent bookshelf and now I I think I like this one so I'm going to take a screenshot of it or you can download an image and then upload it in your slide so you can go to insert option image upload from your computer and this is the bookshelf that I really like for my classroom now you can resize it so you can resize it and you can have it for your classroom so I think I will need one more here so I can copy and paste so I have created another copy and now I'll keep it here so my bookshelf is there so now we need to put some books in there so before that you need to have screenshots of the book covers already downloaded in your computer or you can download the picture is itself so any ways that you like so you can go to the google you can type in the cat in the hat book cover so this is a book cover that i want you can take a screenshot and you can save it in your computer so now let's add the book go to insert image upload from computer so i have already created a folder which has a screenshot of all the books that I want to have in my library so this is a screenshot that I want to add now resize it and place it here so again I can resize so it's just feel like that I have added the book so you can insert more books you can go to insert and you can choose this one also so I can select this and I can resize it and put it here now you need to put some links so you need to click on the book and you need to go to insert and you need to put the link so if you already have a book downloaded in your Google Drive you can put that Google Drive link or if you want a read aloud from YouTube so you can choose this so I have this YouTube link I can copy it so you can copy and you can paste it here so 
and you can click on apply. So this will take the learners to the link of the book or if you have it in your Google Drive, for example, I have downloaded this book. So you can come to share and you can get the link, you can copy and you can put it here. So you can again insert, go to link and you can copy this link and apply. So this will take them to the PDF of the cat in the hat book. So this is how you can put so many screenshots of the book that you want them to read. You can add some links and get your virtual class library ready. So now I also want to put my Bitmoji here. So I can select the Bitmoji Chrome extension and I can type in read. So now my Bitmoji is reading. So I want to choose this one. So you can right click and copy the image and again paste it here. So now my Bitmoji is reading, sitting on a beanbag and I also want my Bitmoji to speak something. So I can go to insert image, search the web and I can type in transparent cartoon bubble. So I can select this one and insert. You can resize the bubble and you can put it here. Now add a text box using the text box option and you can put a text box here. And now you can type in, click on the book to read. Also I want my learners to do a book review. You can try a book review. So I have already created a book review form. This is the form that I have created. Name of the book, name of the author, explain the characters, explain the settings. So now I can click on send, click on the link option and copy the link, copy it and go back to here and click on insert, click on link and I can click paste it here and you can write fill your book review. So this is the way you are writing your text and you are adding a link to your text. Now if you say apply, so your text will be here. So this is my emoji is saying that click on the book to read and fill your book review. So if you will click this link, so the learners will be taken to the book review and they can add their response and submit it. So this is uh, the tutorial for how you can create your own virtual libraries. You can get creative, you can add any more decoratives, you can add, you can add a light box, you can add a globe. So I can show you how you can insert a globe as well. You could go to insert image, search the web, you can write transparent globe and I like this one. And you can go to insert, resize and you can put it in your shelf. So you can create your virtual library scene and I can put it on this shelf. So I have also taken a screenshot of a light box so I can upload it from here. So this is the image of the light box. Read more books. So you can rearrange it and you can put it here. And I can place it here. So this is how you can get creative and create your virtual library. So if you really like the tutorial, you can like and subscribe so it's bye bye for now thank you so much